and hello everybody, Mike here, Baseball Collector, and it's Thursday, and I got some mail today and some pickups, and I'm going to do a little bit different video today. Um, I've got some cards, and I've also got some comics. I thought, you know, every week or so I go to the comic store and pick up what's new, and I just thought I'd start showing that off as I get them, just because I know there are people interested in that, and uh, so here we go. I'm going to do the comics first, because they're easy to see this way. Then I'll flip the phone around and show the cards the other way. First one was Amazing Spider-Man number 10 came out. Really, it's uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 811. So what happens is every once in a while, Spider-Man will kind of reboot itself and start over with number one. It's a total money grab by Marvel. And uh, so they'll start, oh, a new number one. It's a load of bull. And so they finally recognized that, and they started making this where you can see on the label there, it's number 10, but it says LGY number 811 right here. So they're like, look, we know we rebooted everything, and uh, but we're going to acknowledge that this is really the 811th issue of Amazing Spider-Man, which it really is. And so that's the regular cover. I got the X-Men variant cover right there homage to X-Men, and then there was a special cover by somebody who ever drew this cover. Uh, it looks like Campbell. Yep, J. Scott Campbell. Black Cat cover is what that's called. And so just like cards, comics have variants and different covers and they're different rarities and all that kind of stuff. So I try to get as many covers as I can. Uh, some of them are really crazy expensive and stupid. Uh, I got all three of those for cover price, which is $3.99. So I got all three of those because I subscribe to comics. So when you go, it's funny, I don't have a comic or a baseball card shop anywhere near me. Like my nearest one is 45 minutes away. But I could throw a rock and hit three comic book shops from my house. So I don't know, whatever. But, uh, but when you go to a comic shop, my favorite one, I go and, and you subscribe basically where they know they're going to sell, you know, an issue of Amazing Spider-Man to you every month. You basically subscribe for it as a subscription service where they just put it aside for you. And when you come in, you just buy everything. And so I do that with Amazing Spider-Man and I also do that with Star Wars. So this is Star Wars number 58, Luke Skywalker on the cover and, uh, they're on 58. This is the kind of reiteration of Star Wars comics starting in 2015. I have all 58 issues as well as hundreds of the variants that have come out for this. Um, but there's Star Wars number 58. And I always get every time they do that, they do these uh, variant covers with the action. They're called action figure variants because this is look. This looks like an action figure. Um, and I love these. I have almost a hundred of them now that they've issued. And uh, those are really cool. I may do a video showing that off someday. So those are the comics that I picked up this week. Now let's take a look at some cards that I got. Hang on one second. All right, so here we go with uh, <clears throat> one eBay pickup and one care package that I got from an awesome YouTuber. And I've been inspired lately. I watched uh, Eric, those back pages. He's been doing some rummage videos, going through some different slabs and stuff that he has. And it's kind of inspired me. And I'm wondering if you guys would like to see me rummage through the beast and kind of maybe do each video, do one of the drawers and just kind of show what's in each drawer and what I've accumulated and just go through my collection. So right down below, let me know if that's something you would like to see. Uh, and I can start making that kind of a, a beast rummage series or something like that that might be fun but speaking of cards that are going to go in the beast this one right here a 1975 uh rich goose gossage near mint seven uh this is an older slab so i doubt this card would get a seven today if it was uh graded just because of the centering for sure but it's a seven and uh it's a third year gossage so there you go now onto the care package which I'm really excited about uh, I, Joe Labello, who is Silver Jack. If I was doing a live stream uh, a couple of weeks ago, maybe really fun live stream, and he had a bunch of giveaways he was doing, and he asked some trivia questions, and I happened to answer 
one of the trivia questions right. So he sent me a slab card, which I'll show in a second, but he also sent me some kind of just base um, tops chrome. There's a Joey Votto, former National League MVP. Francisco Lindor, tops chrome. International Affair, look at the shine of that. Manny Machado on the Dodgers uniform. And then NL MVP, newly crowned, Christian Yelich on the Brewers. So that was cool. Some cool little chrome cards here. He sent me a couple of Rangers cards, one of which this Ronald Guzman Optic, Donner's Optic Rake and Rookie card. I did not have a Ronald Guzman card, so now I do. Very cool. Thank you, Joe. He also sent me this card, which I love. Um, maybe it'll be better sitting up here. A 2018 Topps Gallery. It's the Hall of Fame Gallery, I think is what it's called. Let me see. Yep, Hall of Fame Gallery. And just a really cool uh, card of Ivan Pudge Rodriguez, one of my favorite players of all time. And the last common, or not common, non-slab card that he sent is this card right here, which is just awesome. 1952 Topps, Eddie Stanky. Longtime Dodger, of course, uh, came up or was with the Dodgers uh, when they signed Jackie Robinson and was famously against the signing, but turned to really like Jackie. And uh, you can see that in the movie, um, 42. But there's Eddie Stanky, 1952 tops. Everybody has to have 1952 tops in their collection. And the card that I really won in his little giveaway was this one right here. One of the most classic baseball cards of all time, especially in the modern era, and that's the 1989 Upper Deck King Rippey Jr. Star Rookie. It's only a near mint seven, but that's cool. I love having these in my collection, so I'm not complaining. And uh, there you go. So thanks, Joe, for the cool live feed and the awesome uh, card. Let me know, guys, if you want to see some rummage through the beast. Be happy to do that. So let me know what you think. And everybody have a great weekend coming up. And keep collecting.